Turkey's decision to reassemble and modernize its iconic F-4 Phantom fighter jets marks one of the most surprising and strategically significant developments in its defense industry. In recent years, the F-4 Phantom is now enjoying a second life under Turkey's ambitious defense modernization strategy. F-4 Phantom has been a cornerstone of the Turkish Air Force since the 1970s, known for its speed, large payload capacity, and long operational range. It has served as one of Turkey's primary attack and interception platforms for decades. The reassembly program involves airframes previously in long-term storage. These aircraft undergo in-depth structural inspections, corrosion control, and strengthening at Turkish aerospace facilities. Key components such as wings, fuselage sections, landing gear, and engine mounts are refurbished or replaced as necessary. Modernization follows reassembly. The upgraded F for South receive a new digital mission computer and cockpit, an upgraded radar and targeting pod, an encrypted communication system, electronic warfare equipment, and compatibility with modern Turkish-made guided weapons. While many NATO countries have long since retired the F-4, Turkey still operates a limited number of them, primarily the upgraded F for E to O to O Terminator variant. This version receives significant avionics, radar, and weapons upgrades in the early 2000s through cooperation with international defense partners. However, the decision to reassemble the F-4 airframes using domestically supported infrastructure signifies a new chapter that goes beyond simply extending their service lives. The, the reassembly and upgrade of the F-4 Phantom aircraft provides a crucial interim capability. The F-4's ability to carry heavy precision-guided munitions, long-range air-to-ground missiles, and long-range weapons makes it invaluable for strike missions, even in modern warfare. In an era where air power relies on layered capabilities rather than single platforms, the F-4 remains operationally relevant. Second, this move supports Turkey's goal of achieving defense self-sufficiency by reassembling the F-4 domestically. The Turkish defense industry is strengthening its expertise in structural repair, avionics integration, propulsion maintenance, and weapons compatibility. This directly contributes to the development of local aerospace competencies, which will also benefit the domestic aircraft program. This transformation effectively transforms an aging airframe into a digitally networked strike aircraft capable of operating. Within modern combat doctrine, several strategic factors explain Turkey's unexpected return to the F-4 platform. First, the gap in its fighter fleet caused by delays and political complications surrounding the Akwaziti on of new generation aircraft. With Turkey's participation in the F-35 program suspended, Ankara is forced to rely more heavily on its existing F-16 fleet. While waiting for the Khan 5th generation fighter to enter mass production, Turkey is situated in a highly complex security environment, surrounded by active conflict zones, contested airspace, and rapidly evolving threats. From the eastern Mediterranean and Aegean Sea to the Middle East and the Caucasus, Ankara must maintain continuous air readiness, despite its age. The F-4's payload capacity and high-speed performance still make it a formidable platform. When combined with modern weapons, in certain mission profiles, particularly those employing long-range munitions, stealth is less crucial than range, payload, and electronic warfare survivability areas where the upgraded F-4 still performs well. Turkey's ambitious Khan 5th generation fighter program represents the future of its Air Force. However, a follow-on program of this scale requires time for testing, certification, and mass production. Rebuilt F-4 aircraft provide a bridging capability that ensures no operational gaps rise. During this transition, instead of relying solely on aging F-16s, Turkey now benefits from a diverse fighter fleet that combines F-16 multi roly fighters. For daily operations, refitted F-4 Phantom I is for heavy attack missions. UAV and UCAV systems for reconnaissance and precision strikes, and future con fighters for air dominance and stealth operations. This layered structure enhances flexibility and resilience in times of crisis. Refitting the F-4S domestically also provides significant economic benefits. Instead of investing billions of dollars in new foreign aircraft, Turkey maximizes the value of existing assets at a significantly lower cost. Local companies are awarded contracts in avionics, software integration, mechanical repair, and weapon adaptation. Furthermore, the program strengthens the defense supply chain, creates skilled jobs, and encourages technology transfer in various sectors, including electronics, materials engineering, and propulsion maintenance. These benefits directly support Turkey's long-term vision.
of becoming a major global defense exporter. Turkey's decision to revive the F for Fanon II has attracted international attention. While some analysts considered it a temporary measure, many saw it as a symbol of strategic independence. This move sent a clear message, Turkey would not allow external political restrictions to limit its air power capabilities. At the same time, the program strengthened Ankara's deterrent posture. The return of the upgraded F for squadron to active duty served as a tangible reminder that Turkey maintained a robust conventional strike capability even during a transition in its fighter fleet structure. Few fighter jets in aviation history have demonstrated the prowess of the F for Phantom II. Originally designed in the late 1950s, it served with dozens of air forces worldwide and proved its worth in numerous conflicts. Turkey's refit program highlighted the adaptability of robust aerospace engineering. When combined with modern technology, rather than viewing the F-4 as obsolete, Turkey treated it as a platform for continuous evolution. With updated sensors, precision-guided weapons, and modern electronic warfare systems, the refitted F-4 South combined legacy power with 21st century capabilities. Turkey's decision to refit the F-4 Phantom II was not driven by nostalgia, but by strategic calculation. This decision reflects a defense policy built on pragmatism, technological self-reliance, and a layered force structure. While the future of Turkish air power undoubtedly lies in next-generation platforms like the KAAN, the F-4's revival ensures Turkey remains fully prepared across all current mission domains. This bold move underscores a central reality of modern defense planning. Air power is not solely determined by the latest aircraft, but by how effectively a nation integrates legacy platforms indigenous innovation, and strategic foresight. In this context, the rebuilt F for Phantom II is not merely a relic of the past, but a new instrument of Turkey's growing air dominance. It's growing air dominance.